I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will understand how to model a projectile path. A rocket is launched from the height of 2 meters and reached maximum height of 50 meters at a horizontal distance of 20 meters. Determine the equation to model the path of the rocket. Now at times you will see in the problem itself mentioned that the rocket follows a projectile path which is parabolic. So the path which actually the rocket we are talking about is a parabola which can be easily modeled with the help of quadratic function. So let me first sketch what we are talking about. Let's say a rocket is launched from the height of 2 meters. Let's say that's the height from where the rocket is launched it reaches a maximum height of 50 meters so, so it goes reaches a maximum height and then falls down now at this moment when it turns we call that as a vertex and that happens when the height is 50 meters and the distance from the foot of the hill or from the foot of the place from where it is launched is 20 meters. So in this graph we have shown distance in meters along the x-axis and height in meters along the y-axis. Taking this as the origin, initial point is 2 meter high. So that becomes a projectile path and this can be very easily modeled with the help of a quadratic function. Now we have a couple of choices to use quadratic functions. Whenever a vertex is given, we will use the vertex form. Now vertex in this particular case is at 20, 50. So the equation which is generally written as y equals to a times x minus p whole square plus q where the vertex is pq can now be written as y equals to a times p is 20 and q is 50 x minus 20 whole square plus 50 correct now we have to find A. This is a family of curves which will have vertex at 2050, but it could go through many different paths. We want to model exactly the path which has been described here. How do we do so? Well, for that, we are also given a specific point on the curve, which is the initial point. It says a rocket is launched from the height of 2 meters. That means when x is 0, then y or h height is 2 meters. So we can use this point to find the value of a. So we'll substitute 0 for x, 2 for y and calculate. So y is 2, a 0 minus 20 whole square plus 50. How do we solve this equation? We have to take away 20, uh, we have to take away 50 from 2 and then divide by minus 20 square which is 400, right? So let's rearrange. So we have 2 minus 50 equals to a times minus 20 whole square is 400. It's a plus value, right? <coughs> or this is minus 48 equals to 400 a will give you the value of a as minus 48 divided by 400. You can always simplify this. Let's do it. You can divide them both by, let's write it on this side. Let's write it on this side. So a is minus 48 over 400. You can use calculator, right? Or let's simply divide it by 4 first, 100. 
4 times 1 and 2, 12. We can again divide by 4, 4 times 3 and 25. So that gives you a value of A as minus 3 over 25. So once we have the value of A, we can write down our function, right? So the function is y equals to minus 3 over 25. That's the value of a. x minus 20 whole square plus 50, right? So that becomes a general equation to model the given path. You will see when we started off, we took distance along the x-axis, height along the y-axis. So we actually follow a convention and that is uh, saying that specifically when we are working on word problems like this, application questions, we should use the variables which we have used. So here x should be replaced by d and, h should, and y should be replaced by h. So strictly speaking, I should write this as h equals to minus 3 over 25 and not x but d. Since I used d in my graph, I could have used x and y there. Okay, d minus 20 whole square plus 50. Now those of you who are doing functions, they can also write this equation as h within bracket d. Since the height has been written as a function of distance d. Do you get it? So we can write also our answer as 3 over 25 d minus 20 whole square plus 50. So <coughs> preferred answer is that final one. However, uh, depending on what you are doing, how you have been taught this topic, any of these three equations could be correct, right? Any of these three could be correct. But I prefer, if you have used D and H, then the answer should be written in the forms given at the end. Uh, I hope that's absolutely clear. My explanations to the problems on YouTube uh, could vary since uh, many students from different parts of the globe uh, see them and I'm not very sure how they've been taught in their own country but I hope you all understand this feel free to post your suggestions that will help me to improve on providing you with the correct or the best videos possible thanks and all the best